today's video i am going to give a solution for the most important problem so this is euler's theorem of second order and this topic is from partial differentiation here we have to find x square into dou square u by dou x square plus 2xy dou square u by dou x dou y plus y square into dou square u by dou y square if u is given as cosecant inverse of root x plus root y by x power 1 by 3 plus y power 1 by 3 power half. See it is very clear that u is not a homogeneous equation. See here u is not a homogeneous function. It is not a homogeneous function. As it is not a homogeneous function let us discuss the degree for this. So here if you consider this is x power root root is nothing but half whole to the power of half and here if you see this is x to the power of 1 by 3 power this is 1 by 2 so this is nothing but 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 this is 1 by 4 this is 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 this is 1 by 6 if comes to the numerator this is minus so here for 4 and 6, the LCM is 12 and in 4 times this is 3 and this is 2. So, this is 1 by 12. Therefore, the degree here is 1 by 12. Therefore, the degree n is equal to this is 1 by 12. Now, see here, as it is not a homogeneous function, I am bringing this cosecant inverse to other side. So, this will become cosecant u is equal to, this is cosecant u is equal to, this is root x plus root y by, this is x power 1 by 3 plus y power 1 by 3 whole to the power of half. So, which I consider this as z. So, our z value is equal to, see here our z value is equal to cosecant u. As z is a homogeneous function of x and y of degree 2. See now z, z it is a function. It is a homogeneous function of x and y in degree 2 by Euler's theorem. We have by Euler's theorem. By Euler's theorem we have x into see here x into dou z by dou x plus y into this is dou z by dou y is equal to n z here n is nothing but 1 by 12 into z so what is z here z is nothing but cosecant square u that is x into dou by dou x of see here what is z here z is nothing but cosecant this is cosecant u plus this is y into this is dou by dou y of cosecant u is equal to half times of this is cosecant u. So, in place of z I am writing cosecant u. This is cosecant u and in place of z I am writing cosecant u. And see I have to make a derivative with respect to x for one time, y for one time. So, this is x into for cosecant u the formula here is minus cosecant u this is minus cosecant u into cot u and again for u this is dou u by dou x and see y times of for cosecant u the derivative is minus cosecant u into cot u and for u this is dou u by dou y and this is dou u by dou y is equal to 1 by 12 times of this is cosecant u as you can see cosecant u if i take cosecant u common and cancel then what happens here if I take this cosecant u common, then this will be cosecant u common, this is minus x into, so this is minus x into, this is cot u into dou u by dou x, dou u by dou x and minus y into, this is cot u, this is dou u by dou y is equal to half times of half times of this is cosecant u now i am cancelling this cosecant u and see here minus cot u if i take common so if i take minus cot u cot u common from these two then this will be x into dou u by dou x x into dou u by dou x plus y into this is dou u by dou y is equal to 1 by 12 this is 1 by 12. Therefore, I am sending this cot u to other side. Then this will become x into dou u by dou x plus y into this is dou u by dou y is equal to 1 by 
12 times of this is minus 1 by this is got u. So, this is x into dou u by dou x plus y into this is dou u by dou y is equal to minus 1 by 12 into this value is tan u. So, this is 1 by 12 into tan u. So, this is the first order Euler's theorem. So, the second order Euler's theorem is as we got x into dou u by dou x as we got the value see here x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou u by dou y is equal to minus 1 by 12 into tan u. So, I have to consider this as g of u. So, this part is nothing but g of u. Now, I got g of u is equal to minus 1 by 12 into tan u. And what is the derivative for this? So, the derivative for this is g dash of u is nothing but this is the constant minus 1 by 12 for tan u this is nothing but secant square u and c according to the second order so this is Euler's theorem of second order according to Euler's theorem of second order according to the Euler's theorem of uh, the second order we have we have see here that is x square into dou square u by dou x square plus 2xy into this is dou square u by dou x dou y plus this is y square into dou square u by dou y square is equal to the formula here is g of u into this is g dash of u minus 1. So, we need this value. So, what is g of u? g of u is nothing but minus so, this is minus 1 by 12. See, this value is minus 1 by 12 into tan u. And what is g dash of u? The derivative of this is minus 1 by 12 into secant square u. This is minus 1. And see, now this value is minus 1 by 12 tan u. And this is nothing but minus 1 by 12. Secant square u is nothing but 1 plus tan square u. So, this is nothing but 1 plus tan square u and this is minus 1. So, this value is minus 1 by 12 tan u. And if I multiply, this is minus 1 by 12. This is minus 1 by 12 tan square u and this is minus 1. So, this value is minus 1 by 12 tan u and see here this is minus 1 by 12 tan square u and this value is nothing but see here. So, this is uh, minus, so this is minus 12 minus 1. So, this value is minus 1 by 12 tan u. And this is minus 1 by 12 tan square u. If I take 12 LCM, this is minus 1 minus 12. So, this value is minus 1 by 12 tan u. And this is minus 1 by 12 tan square u. And this is minus 1 minus 12. This is minus 13 by 12. If I send this negative sign inside, if I multiply with the negative sign, this is 1 by 12 tan u. This is 1 by 12 tan square u plus this is 13 by 12. So, this is the answer. Therefore, we got the value. So, the final value we got as this is x square dou square u by dou x square plus 2xy dou square u by this is dou x dou y plus y square into dou square u by dou y square value is nothing but. So, the value here is 1 by 12 tan u into this is 1 by 12 tan square u plus this is 13 by 12 and this is the final answer then this is how we have to solve and this is the Euler's theorem of second order see first of all what is given x square into dou square u by dou x square plus 2xy dou square u by dou x dou y plus y square into dou square u dou square u by dou y square this is nothing but the Euler's theorem of second order so u is given so I I have shown you n is equal to 1 by 12 the degree is 12 here so I have equated to z and the z value is nothing but cosecant z and the Euler's first theorem is nothing but 
x into dou z by dou x plus y into dou z by dou y is equal to n z. Here n is equal to the degree here 1 by 12. So in place of z, I am writing cosecant u. So wherever I find z, I am writing cosecant u. The derivative with respect to x is like this. Derivative with respect to y. And after that, I, uh, I took cosecant uh, u common and cancelled. And after that, caught u. I brought it to other side. This is stand u. And so... This is g of u. So, if it is g of u, then the derivative of tan u is nothing but secant square u. And this is the formula for second order Euler's theorem. So, after substituting, I got the final answer as 1 by 12 tan square u plus 13 by 12. And thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. This is for today. And I will be uploading the another topic. Thank you so much.